All right, our blood pressure, it gets checked every time we visit the doctor and is a key indicator to some major diseases, but how much do you really know about your blood pressure? Do you know how to take it yourself? Well, health and wellness reporter Sonia Zod has that important information. Hey you guys, it is Heart Month and it is Wellness Wednesday, and today we are talking about the proper way to take a blood pressure measurement, whether you're at home or whether you're at your doctor's office. Unfortunately, there are a lot of doctors who don't get this right. And so we've come into uh, Jared's apartment. He's not talking because you're not supposed to talk for uh, the period of time in which you're getting your blood pressure checked. And Dr. Tandon is here with us. She is with Baylor University Medical Center. So let's talk first about the proper way to position yourself as you're doing a blood pressure measurement. That's correct. Um, that's very important. So what I recommend, Sonia, is that uh, you be sitting upright with your back straight, mm -hmm. feet on the floor, not, not crossed. crossed. Yeah. And important to also remember that you've not exercised, had caffeine, alcohol 30 minutes prior to checking your blood pressure. Okay. Make sure you just didn't get off a big stressful phone call. Mm -hmm. The other important thing to remember is the cuff size, the, the, the way the cuff fits on your arm. There are various cuff sizes for different people. If you're a bigger person, you need a bigger cuff, That's a smaller right. person, a smaller cuff. And you have also said that the cuff that goes around your arm is better and more accurate than the wrist cuff. That's correct. The American Heart Association recommends the arm cuff as compared to the wrist cuffs. So the positioning of the cuff then becomes also very important. You want to make sure that there is, it is at least one half a finger breadth above your bend of the elbow. And most of the machines, the pipe should be right in between your arm, mm -hmm. okay? Some machines will have a little marker for where the artery sits and important to place that right where the spot should be. And then you want to be sitting in a position such that your arm is at the level of your heart the elbow at the heart. And I want to mention too, yeah, that Jared's got the cuff around just his skin. You don't want clothing underneath the cuff. That's correct. That's okay. also very important. All right. And then uh, as you take the measurement, which you can go ahead and do that, um, it, I've gotten a lot of questions about the electronic way to do it versus manual. What do you recommend? So at home, an electronic arm cuff is good enough, but it's also important to remember that you want to take your machine to your doctor's office to get it rechecked and calibrated mm. so that your machine is giving you the accurate reading. A manual form of blood pressure recording is, is considered the best and most accurate form in a physician's office if done correctly. Mm -hmm. And you want your home machines to be within a couple of points of that range when you go visit your doctor so and that you know you're getting good readings at home. And some people have said, when should I take my blood pressure? and you just say consistently day to day. That's correct. It's important to be consistent about the time of the day. Um, for instance, if you are a morning person, uh, you check your blood pressure at the same time of the day every day and make a diary. Okay, and we are seeing his reading now. What is it? 143 over 90, that would be considered high. Jared? Okay. <laughs> so we got some work to do, Jared. <laughs> Thank you both so much. This is incredibly useful information. If you have any questions, you can hit me up on social media and I'll get you connected to the right folks.